I just wanted to talk a little bit about my experience with cosplaying um, back in like, I believe 2014, probably. I got some inspiration from this guy on YouTube called D Pity. He's a really good YouTuber. Uh, he dresses up as um, different characters like Deadpool, hence the name D Pity. Um, it's one of Deadpool's other names and mostly like morph suit stuff um, and I thought you know oh you know that seems like a good idea because morph suits are quite cheap compared to making like your own costume and stuff so I bought one online it was a colossal titan one um, because I saw his one and I was kind of inspired to get that and in his videos he often dances um, and does goofy stuff with uh, other cosplayers like usually they're in on jokes um, and it, I really liked his videos so I decided that basically well the first time I didn't start a dance party but I was just dancing around in front of because this was at Armageddon in Auckland um, I decided to dance in front of the Sony PlayStation booth where they're playing DJ music and um, like first off I didn't really encourage anyone else to dance with me but I thought other people would just automatically um, and then I so I did some dancing and yeah I was on the t on the there was like a big screen there's a camera pointed on me and um, yeah so that was really fun experience um, uh, you know I I'm not a professional dancer or anything I just like to dance in my room sometimes for fun um, but that was really fun um, thing. I think also in the first time I went up onto the stage, it was like a top stage where there was like kind of, you know, competitions, the DJ was up there, um, there was like a backstage, maybe VIP thing, um, and they told me to get up there and I was just like dancing on the top. That was pretty fun. Um, yeah, like I, I just kind of wanted to document my experience um, from what I can remember in video form just so that way I could um, you know kind of get it out of my system and express myself about it um, because it was, it was it was a really fun experience and it became an annual thing but now I don't do it anymore just because well not only because Armageddon last year sucked but we're actually in lockdown now and even before that, it was, I kind of just got sick of it. Um, but people have been continuing the tradition because um, whenever I have gone there, not on a cosplay, um, they've been dancing in front of that booth. So I started that, like, come on, man. Like, and so, yeah, but anyway, I was gonna say the second year around 2015, I think I might have got in a different morph suit, or might have been just the same Colossal Titan one, but um, yeah, I was encouraging other people. Second year, there was a lot more people dancing with me, because um, I was like, come on guys, right, sort of thing, you know, encouraging people, like, I had a big circle, and I was like, running around, and I'm like, come on, you wanna dance? You wanna dance? Like, oh, that was so much fun. Um, and it's funny because like, it just feels like such a magical moment where it was just so, I don't know how to describe it, but um, you wish you could just be back in that moment again because it's just so much fun and, and you feel so happy like because you know even though um i'm not uh, the greatest dancer in the world i was just having fun like and I, that's all i was trying to do was have fun and let other people have fun with me 
doesn't matter it didn't matter if they were in cosplay or not you know that was a really good time um and yeah like i have uploaded a video on youtube of the um a compilation of all the times that i danced in front of that booth um you know and thankfully i managed to upload it because the last time i tried to upload it, it was hit by a copyright strike and it's annoying because like i'm not trying to use the like songs for profit like the songs in that video were um because the dj that was just what they were playing and you know i didn't put them in myself um and i thought i was going to have to edit them out and edit all the music out and edit my own music in which would have sucked but um thankfully that hasn't happened like because last time i think it was muted and um yeah so that was annoying to say the least um but yeah so other than that what, what else happened like yeah i got a couple other morph suits like i know other a lot of people don't think morph suits are very you know uh flattering um or you know they think they're gross my girlfriend thinks they're gross yeah totally understand that but to me it was it was cheap <laughs> um you know it grabbed people's attention because well it's kind of yeah it sticks to your body and it's kind of on it's quite unflattering or or whatever or flattering in this case um but yeah and you know it was um it was good because i had a mask already on like my face was covered so dancing in front of all those people just felt like i was back in drama or something like i was just having fun like just being myself and you know i think the mask definitely allowed me to kind of open up a bit and be myself um and it was funny because there was people you know who wanted pictures of course and i remember even this one point this group of girls were like shy to ask for a picture with me and i'm like yeah of course you can have a picture of me i'm not famous or anything i'm just I'm just having a good time, I'm just having fun, um, you know, but, um, yeah, like, I mean, I got some other morph suits, like, I haven't used them in years, but, um, I'm sure I still fit them, because I haven't grown in height or anything, um, I mean, the only thing I've probably got gained a little bit is a bit of muscle up here, but, um, this should be fine, because it's stretchy. Yeah, I got a Mario one and a Pikachu one. I was thinking of getting a Pepsi Man one if I ever do it again, but my girlfriend's like, no, don't get a moth, dude, it's gross. I was like, yeah, I guess it's gross, but it's fun to just dress up and have a mask. Well, maybe, like, because I have tried a different cosplay. I tried Breath of the Wild Link uh, costume. I didn't have the wig. I had the, the sword, the shield, the costume, just not the wig. Um, and that was fun, but, like, not a lot of people wanted pictures or anything, and compared to the morph suit, it just wasn't as fun. Um, I mean, it was cool because me and my girlfriend dressed up as, yeah, Link, and she was, uh, a cuckoo, a chicken. Yeah, she had a chicken onesie on. That was fun, but, like, man, I, I haven't used that costume in years and i've tried to sell it and like no one wants it even for like very little it cost me like a hundred buck 100 plus i can't remember what but um i wish i got rid of the foam um sword and the shield um but yeah that was that was fun it was, it was right it was a bit different i, I still prefer the more suits because yeah i know it sounds like i'm an attention whore but it, you get a lot more tension and you know, even if people are laughing at you, like, I don't, I don't even care, like, m most people have a good response to it, um, like, that's kind of what made me enjoy cosplay, like, and I, and I think, you know, a lot of people 
shouldn't feel shamed for like buying a pre-made costume like there's no reason to gatekeep cosplaying and anything like that um just because you're an elitist who makes her own costumes like more power to you if you make a, your own costume that's that's amazing because that shit takes a lot of time and effort and i don't have <laughs> um either of those things like energy as well um so you know like that was um a good time but um i think i mean i remember there was this sort of like a lot of people were having a good time and you know there was this cosplay facebook group that messaged me like hey man you the moth suit guy oh man that was awesome that was so much fun um and um you know they're like oh who's that guy uh, like sure i'm not the best dancer but i could just tell other people having a good time and that's all i can ask really like you know i think that was kind of the whole point um because i did do it a few years after that and then i kind of stopped like i just kind of got sick of it or you know well not so much of the dancing but like at the convention itself the expo armageddon expo like it's kind of average it's not like anything <laughs> that special like, it's usually sort of the same stuff every year but um it's even worse now because of covid um since you know um there was no game new games you could play like uh you know there's no nintendo sony xbox or ubisoft ea nothing nothing like that um last year because i did go last year because i went with a, a family friend um because they got a ticket for me it was all right we played some arcade games which was fun but, but i just thought i would yeah talk a bit about yeah my experience with um cosplaying in Armageddon because that was a lot of fun like that that is like I remember one of the things that happened after I you know left I experienced post-con depression like because I was having so much fun and I was just like yawn like that's it or I think the next day um I might have came without my morph suit on because it's you know smell um i was dancing sweating through that thing quite a bit and um then i was like okay um i'm just gonna come in my normal clothes and look at the stuff i couldn't look at yesterday but it was kind of boring and, and I, oh man i was so bummed out i was like i should have come back with my war suit but like it was i think it went in the wash and i had to dry and I was like, oh, that's fine, I don't need to use that. And, but, oh man, I should have because it was so much fun. Um, that was like the mo one of the most fun times I've had in my life. Um, just dancing with all these random people. And, um, yeah, like, you know, um, it, it was a really good time. Um, I'm just trying to think of what else. Uh, yeah, I did have like this silly photo shoot where I... I got this girl actually because there was this little smaller convention that was kind of lame but um we uh i got like a photo shoot of me like now and i'll put it up on screen now if i decide to upload this um and it was just me being a goof and i just love that like being uh myself and being a goof like and that's kind of like part of what cosplaying should be is being like a character like sure the colossal titan is known for eating people and destroying the um the town or whatever in that in attack on titan but um yeah that, that was just so much fun and i mean i i recommend anyone who wants to cosplay like morph suits a good entry point if you um don't have any shame like me um you know just don't care about that sort of thing like maybe if you're a girl I, I i'm not sure like just make sure you're covered properly and stuff like that but oh you know what i actually experienced was which is interesting um i remember one day uh 
I don't know if it was the first time, but at the end of the day, when it was packing out um, Armageddon, <clears throat> like, these guys came up to me, and they're like, can we touch your ass? And I'm like, I don't know why, but I, I, I said yes, and they touched my butt. Um, like, ooh, like, I'm like, uh, okay, that's enough. Uh, I feel uncomfortable now. Like, so now I know what it feels a bit like to be sexually harassed. Um, even though I, I consented. I don't know. I, I didn't see the harm in it. I, I was just like, whatever. It's not a big deal. <laughs> um, even though I'm a straight man. Um, but yeah, that was, that was, um, that was interesting. I'm trying to remember what else happened. Like, um, oh, I remember... This guy from Scrubs, um, I don't know what his name is, I'll put it up on screen now, I guess, um, or a picture of him at least, and because the second time or the third time I was dancing, I think he was a guest um, at one of the panels, and he was actually in costume, and I didn't even know who he was, like, I didn't, it wasn't until I, like, re-watched it or whatever, um, uh, the video uh, that I realized who it was, um, because I can't see shit through my morph suit very well. I mean, I did have holes in my, for the eyes, but, like, it wasn't very easy to see. But, um, yeah, that was, that was really fun. Um, oh, and there's a few other things I want to mention, is, um, when I was, like, Mario and Pikachu, some other years, I was, um, so the people who danced with me, it was like Batman, Spider-Man, um, they're, they're really cool, this one Spider-Man guy, I think he lifted me up, um, like he's quite strong, he's a lot bigger than me, and, like, twirled me around or something, um, that was hilarious, I, I love that, um, and then, uh, what was the other thing? Oh, I think there was a time, I think I got a picture here somewhere, um, there was this person dressed as Donald Trump, and there's even a photo of them dancing with us, um, which was crack up, because it was like, Donald Trump, Ant-Man, and me, um, I think it's Pikachu, yeah, and, oh, well, that was hilarious, um, <coughs> sorry, my, that's a little guy, but, um, yeah, um, like, I, I always sort of, like, look forward to Armageddon, and I, it's kind of, like, sad because with COVID, um, I kind of felt like maybe I should do another one, um, even though my girlfriend refuses, like, she says, you know, don't do it, it's disgusting, and it's like, yeah, but it brings me happiness, I can do what I want. It's just because she's embarrassed, but, um, you know, like, being in costume, it's about not being embarrassed and being yourself, and that's just, like, one of the most meaningful things to me is just sort of being myself. That's why, for a period of time, I really enjoy doing drama, but then, for some reason, I left because I don't, I'm dyslexic, and reading scripts is really hard for me um and i didn't enjoy that uh and i got upset one day because i couldn't remember my lines and i quit but i mean you know it's whatever i i think in hindsight maybe i could have done something with that but um you know i've always kind of wanted to act and be myself in front of others um in some ways like you know these different characters is kind of like Part of you in some ways you know like it just brings out different parts of yourself um but yeah i'm not sure what else to talk about um if there's anything i if i remember anything else i will let you know but um yeah i i just wanted to uh share that little experience with you um because i was just you know i keep repeating myself but it was amazing and fun oh i i know uh here's one i actually had to take the bus home for when i was still in a morph suit i didn't get changed or anything 
And the thing about that is, yeah, I took, took the bus and I had to go into town and I had to walk down the main street in a morph suit. Um, and it was so funny because everybody was laughing and taking pictures. Um, like, sure, they're like laughing at me, whatever, but I don't even care. Like, it was just fun. It was just being a goof, goofball. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Like, <laughs> doesn't, they don't know who I am. So, unless they see this video, of course. But, um, that was fun. And, uh, yeah, so I think I might have walked down maybe once or twice, and that was fun. I love that, actually. But there, there were some nice people that, like, can get a picture and stuff. And, yeah. Anyway, um, that's all I can really think of now of Melf. So, yeah, I'll uh, catch you later and maybe I will upload this. I don't know. We'll see. See ya.